First, let me say that COVID-19 still poses a barrier to travel at many places within the United States and certainly overseas outside of the country. Before you travel, check out the CDC's travel page and the State Department's COVID-19 page linked in the description. Understand also that many countries, many places are still recovering from the pandemic and many businesses are just now starting to reopen, if at all. But let's say you, like me, had to postpone all of your travel goals for the past two years and you're ready to go somewhere that's anywhere outside of your house, that could be a weekend trip in Savannah, that could be a week-long trip to a foreign country that you've always wanted to travel to that's now accepting visitors. Where do you start? First, you gotta decide where you want to go. Don't just travel somewhere because it's cheap and because everyone's doing it. Travel somewhere you want to go to, somewhere that inspires you. If you love pasta and Renaissance art by Michelangelo, then why are you trying to travel to somewhere that's not Italy? If you just want to get away from crowds, then maybe prioritize a national park, a cabin in the woods, or a beach. To get a sense of a place, or to get a sense of some places that might fit what you're interested in, I like to start with a few basic online travel guides like Wicked Voyage or Lonely Planet. I also might go to the library and check out a guidebook. Then I'll think about, okay, well, what kind of a trip am I wanting to take? What kind of a traveler do I want to be? So I would argue there are three types of travelers, a budget or a backpacker traveler that will stay at one or two star hotels or hostels. You may be a leisurely traveler, spending more on food with one or two splurge meals, lodging at a two or three star hotel, a bed and breakfast, or even an Airbnb or Verbo. And then some of you may plan to take a delayed honeymoon and you wanna be a luxury traveler with splurges on food and stays at four or five star hotels or resorts. Travel is about finding the balance of what you want to do and what you can do. That comes down to money and time for most of us. As you consider your next destination, factor in cost, even as an estimate. Use Skyscanner to peruse what flights cost right now. Think about hotels and lodging costs, cost of transportation like Uber, Lyft, local transit, food cost, souvenir cost, and treat yourself money to give yourself something you can't get anywhere else. Lonely Planet and most guidebooks will give you a good sense of cost. You can use TripAdvisor to peruse different restaurants, lodging options, activities, and tours. Biater, which comes from TripAdvisor, has a list of tours that you can take and that will give you a sense of those costs. As you're doing this, you'll start to get a better sense of what you want to do wherever you travel. This brainstorming process will help you build an itinerary, a to-do list of what you plan to do while traveling for each day. After researching, I'll write down a list of things I want to do. And then I'll start writing down how I can do everything based on how long am I gonna be there. Money is the main factor we always think about. Time is the other factor. We can't do everything within a certain time. As I build an itinerary, I'm trying to pare down everything I want to do into something that's more doable within a time frame. Now, when building an itinerary, we can be as specific as we want to be or as broad. Treat an itinerary like a recipe. Some things need to be booked in advance. But like a recipe, you can change things around or add on things. It's nothing that has to be set in stone. I also like to not cram a lot in my itinerary. You know, I want to have time to rest and relax. We can't do everything in the world in a week. We gotta cut things we can't do. Once we have an itinerary, a sense of what we wanna do and how feasible it is within our budget, that's when the trip starts to become real and tangible. You don't want a trip to feel cookie cutter and too organized, but you wanna have enough preparation that you can travel with some peace of mind.